What do you think of when I say spinning wheels? If you said Pat and Banna, then you do not move on to the bonus round, and it's time to brush up on history. Because in the past, when it came to thread and yarn, the innovation of spinning wheels unfurled what would become the fabric of our world. Unassuming in its static state, this is a throstle spinning machine, named for the bird-like sound it made when in operation. This particular machine is one of the absolute earliest industrial production machines we have in our collection. It's one of the very, very, very earliest American industrial machines uh, to survive. Dating back to the mid-1800s, its sole purpose? To spin yarn. But what is yarn anyway? Yarn is basically spun fibers. Yarn is the final stage in the preparation of fibers for whatever process you're going to put it through. It could be weaving, it could be sewing, it could be knitting, it could be crocheting, braiding. It's like the fundamental building block, if you will, for fabric. I met Chief Curator Mark Ruther at the Henry Ford to unravel the story of spinning and also to learn how a simple spinning wheel became a symbol of international friendship. When I think of a spinning machine, I think of a big wheel. Right, think of a typical spinning wheel. Right, so this is related to that, but this is a highly mechanized version of that. This is like 64 of those wheels. What are the raw materials that go into this? Basically, if you're looking at fabrics, you're looking at animal and vegetable sources. On the animal side, you're looking at wool and silk. On the vegetable side, you're looking at cotton, and you're looking at flax, which is, of course, used to make linen. So this is a process of refinement. Absolutely, but it's, but it's a really fundamental one, because prior to this, you've got a product that's been, it's been cleaned, it's been picked, it's, it, it's more differentiated, but it's still not ready for prime time, so to speak. This is cotton. Mm -hmm. How do we get from here to my cotton shirt? It would be, at that point, fed into a loom. It would be fed in two ways. You'd have warp, which are the long threads, and then you'd have weft, which would be a shuttle that would go backwards and forwards. Wow, I love that. Warp, weft, and weave. Mm -hmm. These are great words, and they're actually, well, they're woven into our vocabulary. Are there other important items in the collection that pertain to spinning? There's one machine I would call out in particular, which is in a collection, which was a personal gift from Mahatma Gandhi to Henry Ford, and it's a portable folding spinning wheel called a charka. It's almost like the size of a very small case with a handle. That's a particularly important machine because that was the result of almost like a fan letter that Henry Ford sent Gandhi, recognizing him as a man of peace. And the spinning wheel, in fact, is really central to Indian identity? Well, yes. I mean, so that wheel that Gandhi gave as a gift was a very refined modern version of something very, very traditional in Indian culture, a very large wheel that would be operated in a certain way. And that's reflected on the wheel that's on the Indian flag. I never realized that that's what that was. That's, that's where the origin is. The spinning wheel holds a symbolism beyond country. It also represents a common thread that binds the human experience.